in the dream, I was, I was, it looked like I was on a bus and I was in my state and I was traveling on Louisville. And while I was traveling on Louisville, there was a train coming. It was a single, <gasps> it was a single train by itself. It wasn't like a lot of caboose on it. It was just a train. And the vehicle I was in was trying to get across before the train. Don't know why. And it was, so the vehicle that I was in went in front of the train. And I could literally see the train. I could reach out and touch the train. That's just how close it was. And I'm thinking, we're going to get hit here. But as I looked on the train... I saw males. These males had on prison uniforms. It was orange. Jail uniforms. And they were chained. And it was so many on this train that they were pushing them. I don't know if they were all trained to get, uh, chained together or some was just trying but they were pushing these people and they were falling they were falling off the train and I seen some in my city I saw them listen this is the second time I've had a dream like this we need to prepare or we need to be ready and if you're not ready you need to make ready for whatever is happening God does nothing without revealing it to his prophets Another time I had a dream where men were being recruited. It was men, no matter what condition they were in, no matter what age, they were being um, recruited. Just, just, I mean, it was just a plethora of men. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if this has something to do with the immigrants that are here. You know, we prophesied in part and we know in part. But God will make it clear. God will. God does nothing without revealing it to his prophets. God has been revealing this to me. America, we need to get ready. We need to get ready. We need to get ready. There is a gathering. There is a coming. We need to be ready. We need to prepare. If you're not ready, you need to prepare. You are going to need the most high God to get through this you are gonna I mean it was a plethora of them and and it was like usually you know when stuff like this happen a lot of things begin to happen you know crime increase it could be war but I need you to get in position and I need you to be ready you need to be ready let me um let me see let's let's kind of look into the scripture because I remember preaching a message before not ready be ready make ready we need to be ready for whatever is coming we need to be ready we need to be ready We need to be ready because there is something that is coming. And I'm, I'm telling you, you need to make sure that you are ready. You are ready. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Okay, let me see. Let me let me go and look another another thing here. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. We're talking about a dream I had. Um, the dream. I'm gonna say it again, but you can always go back and 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 look at the video. We're talking about. I'm having a dream and I'm look like I'm on a bus 
and for some reason okay let me let me put this in here I'm on a bus and the bus that I was on ran in front of a train which is very dangerous it is very very dangerous I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, the package. It, it's very, very dangerous to run in front of a plane. I mean, a train. But on this train was men, and these men were prisoners. And let me see. And we were... We, we were this person drove me in front of this train and I could literally put my hand out the window and touch the train that's just how close it was we made it across and but I looked and I seen people and they looked at foreign they looked at foreign it was all males they looked at foreign and they looked like they were just dropped off but on this train there were the the men that were on this train they were prisoners they were prisoners and they were prisoners and the other prisoners was pushing them off they were pushing them but they were trained up as if they were like you know how how they were trained chain up in a chain gang or I think they even do the prisoners now they train chain them up Okay. So I'm watching this. All I can say is that something is coming and we need to be prepared. We need to be ready. We need to be prepared and we need to be ready. Something is coming. America, church, saints, ain'ts, insiders, black siders, we need to be ready. We need to be ready. Yeah, give me a pen, baby. Something is coming. Now, this is the second time I've had a dream like this. The other one I had that I'm recalling was men, males was being recruited. They were being recruited. Now, in this recruiting, it didn't matter what type of male you were or what condition you were. The requirement was you had to be a male. And that 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 concerns me cuz God does nothing without revealing it revealing it to his prophets. Anything that happens is revealed God reveals to his prophets. We know in part and we prophesy in part. God will make it plain, he will reveal to us. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, saints, ain'ts, those who, the church goers, those who don't go to church, we got to get ready. We need to get ready and we need to prepare for what's coming. We know that the immigrants are here. I'm not ministering against them, but something is, is, something is being released. Something is being released and we need to know what it is and we need to know what we need to do. But the main thing is to be prepared, to watch and to pray. Watch and to pray, pay attention. And you know, we also wanna be safe. We need to pray our safety, stay under the, stay in the secret place of the Most High. Stay under the shadow of the Almighty. Stay in the Ark of the Covenant. Stay in the Ark. Don't get out the Ark. Stay, stay in God. Stay in your protective places. Listen, Proverbs, now we in uh, St. Matthew 25th, 
chapter. St. Matthew's 25. It talks about the ten virgins. Five was wise, five was foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't, you know, some people kind of go through life like, I don't bother nobody, so nobody should bother me. That's not how life works. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. It says, 25th, Matthew 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Who is the virgins? That's you and me. Who is the virgins? That's the body of Christ. Who is the virgins? The people of God. Who are the virgins? That's a representation of God. Ten represents blessings or cursing. Which one are you under? Are you blessed or are you cursed? See, some people... Some of us are in the church, we're blessed, but we sabotage our blessings. We sabotage our deliverance. We sabotage what God has given us. Are you wise or are you foolish? Are you blessed or are you cursed? Ten, the number 10 in biblical means blessings are cursed. There were 10 commandments, 10 virgins, 10 leopards. Which one are you? Blessed or curse, wise or foolish. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. We need to open up our eyes. And, you know, God is our protector. He's our provider. But you also need to do your part. You need to stay under the shadow of the Almighty. You need to stay under the mighty hand of God and the protective covers of God. You need to do this. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oils with them. You better have the Holy Ghost. You better have the anointing. It's the, the anointing destroys the yoke. The anointing is the only thing that destroys the yoke. You better have the anointing of God with you. Or be around somebody that's anointed. But better yet, you need the anointing. You need the oil. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Spirit activated in, 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 in your life. You need to have an ear to hear what the Spirit says to you. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Spirit. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Seven, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our all has gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Are you ready? Are you ready? There is a coming to this earth. And it may already be here. Like I said, in the dream, I saw a recruiting of men. And it didn't matter what condition you were in. Just come on. A recruiting. A gathering. Now I just had a dream that a train. A train was coming. And I don't know why that person ran in front of that train. And I was, I was in that vehicle. I couldn't get out, and I'm trying to figure out why are you going in front of this train? We got to watch and we got to pray. We have to watch and have the protective, the protection of God upon us. We need the protection of the Almighty God. We need God never before. It is time for you to get yourself ready and to be prepared. When that night come, when this day of reckoning come, when this gathering come, 
if this happens in my city where I'm at, those who are watching, you know what state I'm in. We're not too far from Texas, the border. We're not really that far. A lot of you go to Texas on the weekend like it's nothing. But these inmates, these prisons was brought here to this state and was, was on Louisville. And there were so many of them that they were pushed. The other inmates was pushing them out. They don't know anyone here. They don't have a home. So what you think is going to happen? A lot of things can happen. Good things can happen, but also bad things can happen. You need to watch. Saints, we need to open up our eyes and begin to pay attention and see what's going on. We need to pray. Pray for your city. Pray for your state. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. Pray. We need to pray. Because there is a gathering. There is something happening. And are you, are you one of the virgins? Spiritually virgins. It, it, I'm not talking about naturally. I'm talking about in the spirit. Are you pure? Is your heart pure? Or is your heart full of impurities? Like we see, in order to be a virgin, you, there's pureness in your heart. There's cleanness. You are un, undefiled, uncorrupted. Is, is that in your heart? Do you have any? It is time to get malice out your heart you need a pure heart and a clean heart create in me a clean heart O oh lord and renew in me a right spirit a right spirit you need the holy ghost you need it you may not want it but you're going to need it because the holy ghost is the spirit of god which is a comforter a teacher and a guider when jesus left the scripture says that he will leave us a comforter which will teach us and lead us and guide us into all truth he is our protector and our comfort but we have to stay in him. We have to stay under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm not going to be before you long. Prepare. Make ready. Matthew, the 25th chapter. Are you a virgin? Are you one of the wise virgins? Are you a foolish virgin? Are you blessed or are you cursed? Are you sabotaging your oil? Are you sabotaging the anointing? Are you sabotaging the spirit of God in you? to be defiled, to be impure. We need God. I, I need you, Father. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, as we come right now, we pray for everyone that is on the other side of this video. We pray, Lord, that, number one, that they would acknowledge you in all of their ways, that they would protect the oil, and that they would be wise virgins and not foolish. Lord, that we would not sabotage or waste the oil or be wasteful we will have our lamps trimmed in the day and turn them up in our night hour. Father, so that we can see the enemy. Lord, put a watch in our spirit. Lord, we, we commit Louisiana, Massachusetts, Connecticut, California, Chicago. Lord, the people that are being evicted, but yet the immigrants are being housed, we come against that spirit of unloving and unkind and sabotaging and being unkind and unrighteous to people. We bind it up and cancel it right now. We bind up right now and cancel it. Right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know we, we thank you for the new, but Lord, we, we need new. And Father, if we've done anything to cause this, being ungrateful or unthankful, Father, we repent. We repent. Turn back to God. We repent. Because God, you truly said that you can't take new wine and put it in old bottles. So, Father, we thank you for our new spirit. We thank you for our new city. We thank you for our new state. We thank you for our new governmental. We thank you for our new president. We thank you, Lord, for our new spirit and our new heart, our new mind. We thank you for new life, and we thank you for the oil. We thank you for wisdom. And we decree and declare protection and we repent right now of everything that is not like you, Lord. And we confess with our tongue that Jesus Christ is Lord. Make ready, not ready. Are you wise? Are you blessed? Are you cursed? Do you still have oil? Do you still, are you wasteful? Are you, use, use, you use your, your oil useless? 
Don't be wasteful with the oil. We love you. We will be back next Sunday. And hey, I hope you set your clocks up an hour. Spring forward. I'm looking for the things of God. I'm looking for addition. Because remember, God adds to a church that is daily. According to Acts 2 and 46. Again, I want you to read Matthew, St. Matthew. That's the New Testament scripture. The first the first chapter, the first book in the in the New Testament scripture. Yes, it is. St. Matthew's 25th. St. Matthew's 25. 1 through 13. Don't be foolish, be wise. Keep praying. Stay under the shadow of the Almighty. Let God bless you and let God cover you. We love you.